Budget mini PCs have really picked up in quality recently, with some good bang for buck offerings. And the B-Link U59 Pro definitely fits into that category. But what really sets it apart from other budget entries is its set of ports. On the front, two USB 3 and USB-C, as well as an audio jack. On the back, dual USB 3, dual gigabit LAN, and HDMI. It's probably the best set of ports I've seen in this price range. In the box, there's a monitor mount, screws, and a short HDMI cable for easy cable management, a longer HDMI cable, and power supply. The U59 Pro features Intel Celeron N5105 CPU with UHD graphics. M.2 SATA storage is included, as is memory with B-Link offering two different configurations. If you open up the Mini, you'll find a 2.5 inch drive bay for additional storage. Wi-Fi isn't soldered on, which is a nice bonus. There are two SOTA memory slots. With an 8GB configuration, you get one stick of 2666MHz RAM. I asked B-Link if you get two 8GB sticks with the 16GB configuration, and the answer was yes. So you might be wondering, how much graphics performance are you losing with single channel memory? We'll find out soon in the benchmarks. This pre-configured mini comes with Windows 11 Pro, but I also did a quick test of Ubuntu and it worked just fine. Same with Chrome OS Flex. The BIOS allows you to tweak the fan settings, but by default it works great already. Okay, now it's time to compare it with a bunch of the actively cooled budget mini PCs I've reviewed previously. The closest one is the ZX01 with the same CPU and also comes configured with memory and storage. When it comes to the single core benchmark, the B-Link U59 Pro score is within margin of error. But with a multi-core benchmark, the U59 Pro has almost a 10% higher score than the ZX01. That's because the ZX01 was power limiting the CPU, as you can see in that review. Next, encoding a video using Handbrake. The U59 Pro was the second fastest, as expected. In DX11 graphics, the single stick of RAM in the U59 Pro results in a score behind the ZX01 by 8%. But adding a second 2666MHz matching stick has it pull ahead. A total of 19% improvement in score from one stick to two. For DX12, the U59 Pro is behind the ZX01 by 3%. Again, add another stick of memory, and it pulls ahead into second place. But for DX12, the difference between one and two sticks of RAM was only around 5%. Ideally, the 8GB config would have a dual 4GB kit, but the iGPU is not as bandwidth limited as I thought it would be. The included SATA SSD is decent. Against the ZX01, it has much more well-rounded performance. For all the tests going forward, I'm using the Mini with the single 8GB RAM as it was configured. Next up is video playback tests. A 4K movie using VLC didn't drop any frames, so let's move on to 4K 60fps streaming on YouTube. Only 21 out of 10,000 frames were dropped. Not bad at all. At 1440p 60fps, it was 16. And at 1080p 60fps, just 8 frames out of 10,000. I think that's the best result out of all the Celerons I've tested so far. With retro game emulation, the Nintendo Wii is the ceiling, with PlayStation 2 being too slow. The majority of Sega Dreamcast games should run full speed. You'll get some that have frame drops in Null DC. Some GameCube games will run full speed at double native resolution while the more difficult to emulate games will struggle. Here it's the integrated graphics holding back Wind Waker from hitting the 30fps target. Same issue with Nintendo Wii games. Although Smash Brothers held up pretty well. Power draw for the U59 Pro is similar to the ZX01. There's a higher peak, but also better multi-core performance to go with it. Cooling is decent, with no thermal throttling reported. But the Intel NUC has the lowest CPU temp out of every mini PC I've tested. One of the best features of the U59 Pro 
is a lack of fan noise. It's practically silent when idle, and here's how quiet it is under load. Well done. The B-Link U59 Pro has a lot going for it, for those wanting a decent budget option with dual LAN ports or USB-C. It's a good performer, it's nice and quiet. The only drawback is a single stick of memory in the 8GB configuration. But I have no problem recommending this budget mini PC either way. That's all for this one. Stay tuned for more mini PC reviews in the future. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the B-Link U59 Pro. Cheers!